Hello again, St. John's family and friends. This is Pastor Brady, and this is our midweek devotion and prayer time together for Wednesday, August 5th, 2020. As I join you now, I want to pose one big question. How are you feeling? Are you feeling overwhelmed right now? Are you feeling overwhelmed by the things you see going on in the, our world? Are you feeling overwhelmed by what the future may hold? What are the things that are weighing on your mind on this day? Are you thinking about the virus, how it's going to continue to affect us? Are you thinking about all of the economic issues that are going on in our country right now? How will the next paycheck come? How will a business be able to bounce back? And are you thinking of those that you care about deeply and how you're afraid for them? Maybe we're even afraid or anxious about children going back to school. We are feel, have all these feelings right now. So many things going on and we're being told to feel different ways when we turn on the television or when we read something on Facebook. So it is a feeling which I would describe as being overwhelmed. It's a feeling I would think most of us have to some degree or some level, and some are feeling very overwhelmed right now by the events in the world around us. And when you see those events, are you feeling like you have no control? Because I'm sure some of you are. I feel like, what control do I have over what happens with the virus? What control do I have on how the businesses in our area bounce back? But we can all do our little parts to help, and the biggest part is to pray for all of these issues. And we pray for healing in our nation, in our land, and we should do that day by day without ceasing. But at the same time, sometimes we feel like we have no control. We feel like the waves of life keep bashing over us. We feel like we are sinking into the depths of the water. Well, the scripture this Sunday this coming Sunday, will remind us that even though we have that feeling that we are sinking below the tide, below the waves, into the dark waters, there is one that can lift us up out, and that is Jesus Christ. You'll hear the story of how Peter lost faith and began to sink below the waters, the stormy waters. But once he focused on Jesus, he came back to the surface. And right now, we need to focus on Jesus. We need to focus on the man of the cross because the world is causing us to sink. The world is causing us to feel overwhelmed. Those events that we feel are out of our control or out of our understanding even, they're weighing upon us. I know many parents right now are so anxious about their kids going back to school, how they go back to school, how are they protected, all these kind of issues. I know there are a lot of people out there that may have lost a job or trying to get another job, or they're worried about the future of the job they have right now. Many are worried about the economy and how it will recover. So many issues are out there. And then we see the racial injustice issues, and we see those riots and those bad actors out there in our community and world. And we just pray that love will come to them and that hate can be taken away. There are so many issues, so many things going on right now. And if we think about them too much, we're going to keep sinking and sinking and sinking. Of course, they have to be on our mind. Of course, we need to work to find solutions to these issues as individuals, and even more so as a community, a nation, and a world. But at the same time, we cannot focus on those things, and we cannot continue to sink below the tide. No, we need to focus on Jesus first. First, we look to the Lord. First, we look to his guidance. And when we start to feel ourselves sinking and sinking and sinking, we look to him and we say, Lord, pull me up. And he will. If you have faith, if you lean upon him, maybe the answer won't come in the way that you would like it to. Maybe you still will feel overwhelmed by other issues. But if you pray to Jesus Christ, if you rely on him, if you rely on the word of God, if you look to the Lord in your times of troubles and tribulation, in your times of anxiety and depression, if you look to him, if you're guided by his graces and his love, he will pull you through. And if we do so collectively, he will pull us all through these days, which seem to be filled with so much turmoil, so much division. 
these days, which seem to be so overwhelming to our bodies, our minds, and our souls. So to those parents that are stressed out right now as the school year is about to begin and how that's going to look, pray to the Lord, and he will give you the comfort that you need in those days. That doesn't mean you're still not going to be anxious. That doesn't mean you're still not going to worry. But let him help calm your fears and your doubts. To those that may have an uncertain future with their career or their job or their business, pray to the Lord. Pray that he will get you through. Pray that there will be something on the other side of these dark days. And you can be certain of this because the Lord has promised us light and he has promised us glory. Maybe there still will be very difficult days ahead. Maybe there will be for many. But the, at the end of those difficult days, at the end of that storm, there is a glorious light, a glorious answer. And there can be peace and comfort even through the storm if we just rely on our Lord, our Savior, and our King Jesus. He can take away those feelings of being overwhelmed. And as you feel yourself sinking, once again, let him bring you up. Because we cannot walk through these storms alone. We cannot walk on top of the water, those dark waters alone. If we do so, we surely will sink. We surely will falter. We surely will drown by things that we have come up with and by things that the world throws at us. By our own internal, internal struggle, we will drown. And by the actions of others in the world, we will be brought down. But if we choose not to walk alone, if we choose to walk with the Lord, he will get us through the storm. He will take us across the dark waters. He will lead us home. He will give us the strength and courage to get through these days together. You know, on Friday, when we have our inspiration time, we'll talk about walking on water and how you too can walk on water just like the Lord. But for today, remember this. When you are sinking, when you feel yourself faltering, when you feel there is no hope, reach for the Lord. Pray to the Lord, and he will lift you up. He will bring you through the storm. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Oh, Father God, on this day, I just pray for all those who are anxious, for those that are dealing with depression, for those that are directly affected by this virus, for those that are worried about their children and going back to school, for those that are worried about their careers, their jobs, their businesses, and what the future may hold, we know not the answers for tomorrow. Only you do. But we can be assured that if we have faith in you, that we cling to you, that we follow Jesus Christ and his lead, we will get through these storms individually and together. And we know there is a light at the end of the storm for each of us if we only call upon your name. So now, Lord, in these days of struggle, bring comfort and peace to all of your children. Allow them to rest assured in you. Amen. Well, bless you all. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you on Friday for our inspiration time together. Amen.